Welcome to BMW 2 Series Grand Coupe. Now, this car has got nothing to do with the 2 Series Coupe, which I personally own and love. It is in fact based on the 1 Series being front-wheel drive with the option to have it four-wheel drive. Its direct competitors, Mercedes CLI, Audi A3 perhaps, to name a few. What do you think about this new style of the grill? It's getting a lot of abuse online. People hate it. Come on, it's not that bad. I don't mind it actually. You've got a lot of venting here, and this is all real by the way, no fakery. That is because this is top of the range model M235i, which means it's got a little bit more punch. It means it's got a little bit more going on under the bonnet. I personally do prefer the front of this vehicle than the back. Different horses for different courses, I know. But I just find it a little bit more eye pleasing. I'll leave it at that. And we're gonna hop in and see what the new BMW is all about. country you're based in, there are a couple of different diesel and petrol engines available. Starts from 1.5 litre three-cylinder petrol engine. The model I have me today is M235i. Now don't let the M letter deceive you, this is not an M car. M refers purely to some exterior bits and pieces. The car essentially looks much sportier. Now under the bonnet I've got a two-litre four-cylinder petrol engine which pumps a glorious 306 horsepower. Now interestingly enough, CLA 35 has got the same figures but what is different in this vehicle is the amount of torque 450 newton meters and unless you're this good you know that in daily life the amount of torque is just as important as the amount of horsepower oh yes so you can answer that question yourself so the 2 Series Grand Coupe starts from just over 26,000 pounds in the UK. The 235i model is just over 39,000. The CLA 35 is 40,000 pounds. So uh, safe to say these two cars are direct competitors. Just think, shall we? The declared zero to 100 is 4.9 seconds. So let's see just how good I am. I have recently embarrassed myself with a CLA 45, but here I've got no measuring tool, which means I can deceive both myself and all of you. So let's just do it for a little bit of fun. Pop it into sport mode, gearbox into sport, traction into sport, foot on the throttle, foot on the brake, and off we go flying. <laughs> and it is pretty quick. Oh, and the gearbox is quick. Okay, let's not get carried away. Oh, I like it. But you see, safety side, perhaps after all, women are more competent with less horsepower, or perhaps when they are given an opportunity to lie and deceive. <laughs> As you cruise along, the car is very comfy, it is very relaxing, the suspension absorbs all of the bumps and imperfections. It is also very easy to maneuver and trot around town. Good turning circle, important when you're getting in and out of car park, even with this hair color, no worries at all. Now the visibility is pretty good, big rear window, the panel, thick panel here does make you feel a little bit blind. The automatic gearbox, quick, very smooth. You wouldn't expect anything less of BMW. Now, I've got adaptive cruise control. I've got lane keeping assist. But still, this car won't drive itself like the CLA can. You turn on the indicator, the car will change the lane for you. Not here. Here, you have to take charge and you have to be the driver. I suppose we have a look at the cabin, shall we? Overall, the style is very minimalistic, very clean, very Germanic. I like it. The quality of the materials, the fit and finish is very good. I do like the variety of materials they've used across the cabin. Very clever. You also have the ambient lighting. I shall demonstrate it, but when the night gets dark, not now. Custom sports seats, lovely Alcantara. Just feels good when you're sitting in those seats. They also hold your body where they're supposed to hold your body. They do come as standard in the M235i, 
But what doesn't come as standard is the lumbar support because for this, get ready to fork some dosh. Lovely M steering wheel, digital driver's display. Mm, it's a little bit cluttered, it's a little bit busy and I'm not quite sure if I like it actually. And I've given it a lot of love, a lot of stroking and patience and it's just not loving me back. Maybe I am stupid, I'm not sure. You even have at all points in time the name of your model, M235i, in case you've forgotten what car you're driving. But I reckon if you've forgotten what car you're driving, you shouldn't be sitting behind the steering wheel to start with. Anyway, moving on, you've got this large crisp screen. So without a doubt, the iDrive is the best infotainment system available on the market. No question. It is dead easy. Whether you're a blonde bimbo, you can manage without any problems. It's just so intuitive and just so pleasing for your eyes. You can control it with your fingers because this is a touch screen, of course. Should you not enjoy all these sticky fingers here, well, you can use the swivel. You can also use control with your finger. You gotta do it with grace. Mm, because if you get a little bit fidgety, it's just not loving your back. You also can control this system with your voice, just like Mercedes. Hey BMW! It's a little Hello. bit slow. What can I help you with? Could you please take me to the nearest Mercedes-Benz dealership as I'd like to purchase the new CLA 35? <laughs> Obviously, she's confused. Obviously, of course, repeat. You're not going to be taken to Mercedes-Benz dealership to buy the new CLA. Oh, no. I don't really like it. I mean, it's all gimmicky, complex and I just don't bother. But overall, the cabin, well, BMW, you've done really well because it's very pretty. I left my heart in California. I let it go deep. So I gotta do the work. Can I do the work in sport mode? For Dan, oh, straight away you hear it. Although something tells me the sound isn't just coming from your exhaust, it's also coming through the speakers. I think so, but you don't really care in this kind of a car, to be honest with you. The suspension is stiffer, it is harder. The suspension, you're dirty buggers, that's it. But it's still comfortable, actually. You've got more weight added to the steering. There is still a sense of understeer, but it's actually suitable for this kind of a car, and i explain why shortly. Now, when you put your foot down, the throttle response is certainly much sharper and the car feels punchy and it feels actually rather lovely. <laughs> the handling, well, it handles like a dream. It's BMW kind of handling. Nothing has changed here. You do have limited slip differential to help you get out of the corner with a little bit more grace and a little bit, well, more confidence. and 30 liters of boot space yes you have to lean to see the space but easy access slide in slide out nice and square shape and that's enough about the boot this car has got plenty of grip it feels very planted very solid now the model i would meet today is a four-wheel drive because in principle this is a front wheel drive car it's very easy to drive this car fast. It's a proper sporty German car. So being German, let's have a look at benzene, fuel economy. I'm averaging about 10 liters. Now I do enjoy a rather dynamic drive. It's not bad. It's not that great. Wow, well, I can live with it. 306 horsepower, yeah, it's okay. Backspace, shall we get dark all of a sudden? So I hope you can see. I've adjusted both front seats for my height, which is 1.7 meters, 5.6. And I've got pretty good legroom, decent headroom. I mean, if you're over 180, you're probably going to feel pain in all coupe cars, whether you take Mercedes CLA or Audi A3. So it's the same story here. Third person, 
Mm. There's a big hump in here, unless you can put your legs over your head, then you're fine. Put your mother-in-law here, she'll be more than happy. In the front, you've got frameless windows here in the back. Oops. That's how far they go. Bit of a pity, because otherwise it would be very sleek to have them going all the way down. Never mind. Overall, yes, it's pretty good in here. You get everybody staring for days. All the sea is just a young, pretty face. I like this car. It has grown on me, although it has taken a fair bit of time. But I still think the CLA is a little bit foxier, a little bit sexier with the svelte bottom. Now, it's important to mention this is not an aggressive M car. It was never designed to be. This is not a car for hardcore BMW fans. So stop whinging and complaining. This is a great entry into the M world, whether you're financially not ready or for whatever other reason that might be, or simply for those who want a premium machine with a very solid driving experience. It does the job ever so well. So, yeah, nothing to complain about. And that's it for today. I wish you a wonderful day, whatever that you're up to. Thank you very much for watching. I shall see you all next time. Bye.